What's up YouTube, Cunningham Cichlids back with another video. This is the first product review for our channel. Hagar reached out to us, they sent us a light. They asked if we do a product review for them, put it up on our channel. So we said, sure, why not? We're always looking for to check out the LED lights, the aquatic items and see what's around. Maybe there's something better for us to upgrade to. So they sent us a light, we put it on the tank. It's been on the tank for over a month or so. So let's do the review. Well, this is the light they sent me. It's a 48 inch LED light. Um, what I do like is these brackets are really, really nice to keep your the light suspended above the tank. As you can see, this is one of the modes they have available. This is the default mode. So right off the bat, there is one thing I'm gonna mention I don't like, and that's the default mode of the light um, with the pink or the red, the blue and the white lights. Um, this is the, the controller here, you can adjust it. So if you wanna change the mode, you just hit this button here. It goes to, to blue and then it goes to white. This is the light, this is the mode that I like here. It's just all white. I did wish, I wish they had some blue on with the white, but they don't, but I like the all white look anyways, compared to the, the red, white, and blue look with the lights, the way it makes your tank look a little pinkish. So, we're not gonna purchase a bunch of these lights for the fish room. However, we will be purchasing some of these to take on the road with us. We do feel this is a really nice light for us to take to shows and set up over the acrylic tanks that we're getting built. Um, we're getting 675 gallons built to take on the road with us. So we will be purchasing more of these lights from Hagar. Another feature too is neat is uh, up here, the plus minus side. You can make the tank, you can dim it. You can adjust the brightness which is always a great feature because a lot of these LED lights, you can't adjust the brightness on them as well. So this is a great feature for this light that you can adjust the brightness. Power, of course, on and off. You also can set a timer. You hit this button, it'll time it on and off um, for whatever you want, you know, for a certain interval. That shuts it off, turn it back on. So all in all, this is a great product. We are happy with the light. Again, it's just the one thing. we All our lights run on timers down here. So when the timer turns on, this light defaults to the mode, the pinkish mode can, uh, versus defaulting to the mode where we left it on. Cause we leave it on this mode all the time with all just the white lights on. But when the timer comes on, it doesn't remember that it was on this mode. So, but great light um, puts out as much light as some of our other Aquanit LEDs that we run over here. So it's very comparable on the market, I think, from an LED light perspective. So like I said, we will be purchasing some for our uh, our show tanks. Um, if you use discount code Cunningham, you can get 20% off your Hagar light purchases. It's If you're starting up a fish room, it's a great light to get into. Or even if you're replacing your lights in your, uh, your fish room from you know T8 to T5, you want to go to an LED light? This is a nice LED light to go to. Um, it's one of the very few that I've seen that gives you these brackets here to, again, to raise the light. It's really nice versus some of these over here. If you look on this tank, you know, it's sitting right on right on the bottom. It's sitting right on the tank somewhat. The, the risers aren't, uh, aren't that high compared to what Hagar put with their products. So again, really nice light. And these are adjustable too, so, um, if you need them to fit a three foot frame tank, you can adjust them in and out, four foot, just back and forth. So again, first product review, we're happy. We appreciate Hagar reaching out to us, asking us to review their product. So from that standpoint, like I said, we will be using it again. I have no complaints. The only one thing is just the, uh, just that default mode, if they would fix that. This would be my go-to light for every tank in my fish room. So maybe upcoming 2.0, 3.0 versions, they can uh, do something where it remembers, if you're running timers, where the last uh, setting was for that light. So that way when they turn back on, they turn on with the uh, that setting, the default. So with that, thanks Hagar for asking me to do your product review. I appreciate it. And my YouTube subscribers, till next time, have a good one.